everybody right here welcome to my channel today we're doing a pop run again um, I want to get my pop in a box and if you don't know pop in a box it's a company out of England that you uh, go on and you can list all the pops you have and then you go through and you do a thumbs up thumbs down on some pops and they will always send you pops you do not have that way and the cool thing is you, you pay a single price and they will send you any pop from a regular pop to a large pop to a pop vehicle and sometimes they'll even send some um, special ones like glow in the darks or something like that you might get which i wasn't aware of but it's pretty cool because i found that out in what i got today so yeah, that being said let's start out so i do the two pops um you can do one two three four i don't think they got up to five but i think it's four for sure um, it's up to you, whatever you want. Every month they send you whatever you selected as far as the pops. Um, like I say, you can do a thumbs up, thumb down. You go through a list of pops that just keep coming along. And you thumb up, down, whatever. That way you don't get pops that you don't want. So it's pretty convenient service. I really like it. So that being said, what we got today were two pops. And this one I, I keep walking by and I'm always like, I gotta get that. I gotta get that. But I didn't which is good, because they sent it to me. And it's the Thanos one. The bigger size one. As you can see. Nice, pretty cool. Of course, bobblehead. Blah, 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 bobblehead. But he doesn't have any paint flaws, really. He's real shined up. There's no problems with him. That's that's the thing. You get, they're not like um, clearance racks, damage racks, whatever. It's, it's new pops you're getting right from these guys. They handle them all there. So far, I haven't had any problems with them. So, but, so we got the Thanos. Like I say, that's cool. You pay the same price whether it's a small pop, a large pop, they even have pop rides they give you. So, that's pretty cool. The other one I got was, this is called Alduin, the six inch dragon from Skyrim. He's heavy. He doesn't have a bobblehead, which is awesome. But he's pretty cool. He's got the red eyes. He's in a sitting position. He's got his wings, one wing flopping out, one back. His tail's back on here. All the scaliness of a dragon. He is pretty cool. I like those. I like when you get like dragons like that and stuff. Well, I guess they're both kind of folded out. And I didn't see that. His feet are down. But he's heavy. He's damn heavy. He's solid. He's probably a solid core. Like I said, there's no bottle head, which is cool. So he's pretty awesome. So that's pretty cool that they send you six inches. Same price they send you the regular ones and everything else. So, um, I'm gonna probably go on a little tangent here. So hang in there, you'll be happy with it. But uh, I wasn't gonna buy any pops for like two weeks. Nope. I know New York was coming out with their New York Comic Con and Hot Top was supposed to have their special. But I gotta start saving for Comic Con next year. Holidays are coming up. You know, you gotta save some money here and there. So I really didn't wanna I really didn't wanna buy any for at least a couple weeks. That was gonna be my goal. And uh, usually, you know, when you go to Walmart you get all these stuff and a lot of people have I see it on Facebook, they're always like, Oh, I got a ton of pops at Walmart and stuff. I got like four Walmarts within fifteen miles of me. And one of them doesn't carry pops anymore, and the other three barely have pops. Unless the corporate shoves it down their throat, they don't care. So I don't really worry about it. So that being said, I went to Walmart the other day, and I always look at the pop thing, because you never know when they might have one, or a new one, but it's usually the ones that are Walmart exclusives, which I already have, like Brock Lesnar and um, Black and White Daryl, <coughs> stuff like that. So I'm just looking, well, they refit, they uh, resupplied them all. So they got a big stack of them all sitting up there with Oliver. And, I mean, they're all pops basically I had. And I'm looking over and look at what I saw. It's the one pop that I wanted to get. And I was afraid I wouldn't because it's going to Walmart. And like I say, they keep doing where they don't have any. But it was the Jabba the Hutt, Slave Leia, and Salacious B Crumb, all three of them together. 
I've got lots we can look at. Them. But this is one that I saw I was coming in and I want to get. And of course they had two. That's all I had. This was actually the better box, even though it's popped here. It's crumped down here. The other one had like cut marks across it and was smashed in the front. And it's like, as usual, you know, those guys just don't care. They just smash stuff. So, so this is the better one. So I grabbed this. And of course, it's like 30 bucks, you know, 10 bucks each for each pop because there's three different pops in them. So what you get is the big Jabba. He's got to be big enough to have those two with him. Quick bobblehead. They always got to ruin the bottle. But sadly, this one was not painted very well. You see here, he's got a big old green mark here. He's got a big old mist part on this side. And then I was just looking at him. Where was the other parts? He's got like a brown mark here from some paint that they stuck over. There's a big flake of paint peeling off here. So they didn't really put a lot of work into that one. He's still cool. I can still fix him. Just gotta get the right paint scheme. But, but he's pretty awesome, the size of him. And along with him, of course, came Leia in her slave garb. Oops. But she's like sitting with her legs out and her hands down. She's gotta be a bobblehead, even that small. But that is really cool. But they got her sitting down like that. And she's not too bad. The paint job isn't all that bad. They got like a like a brown mark on her stomach there. A couple of splashes of brown here. I don't know, somebody got a little while with the brown. But that is really cool. You know, she's got a ponytail. And being that small, I can expect a few marks because it's going to be harder to paint. But she's cool. And then you also get old crumb. <sighs> the little laughy <laughs> thing that sat behind Jab all the time, laughing his dumb head off. But even he's a bobblehead that small, you know, which makes his head turn this way. But, you know, it is what it is. But his was pretty good. There's not really any imperfections on him that I can see. But he's pretty cool. And something else that's really cool that they did with it <clears throat> is the staging. I don't know if I can get them all to stay on here, but we're going to try. So it's going to fall over. I can see that already. What they do is they do the staging for you. It comes on a little stage like it did in this when they're in the thing on the uh, ship and then the background that you can put with it. So that's really cool. So you put all three together has all the staging. That's pretty awesome. That is really cool. And I really like that one. That was one I wanted to get from the start. And it made me crack down on my already promising not to buy anything for two weeks. I already did it. I went and did it. And while I was there, I said, well, what the hell? I'll grab one I didn't have, which I found I'd dig through a little bit. But Black Canary from Arrow, the show. Being not a bobblehead, she's a little heavier. She sits better. Her head's really big. She's actually in great shape. She doesn't have any paint flaws that I can see. A lot of detail in her belt and her gloves. So, she's worth getting. Of course, that Java thing was awesome. That's that I've been waiting on. So then, it was like, well, I already broke the rules, so why not go to Hot Topic and get a couple of the ones that I wanted from New York Comic Con. The one I really wanted, of course, hands on, was Godzilla. But, I'm not going to get that one unless I won't go to the Comic Con. Or until later when it sells for high buck. So I probably won't be getting that one. But that's right. So I went to that topic and picked up two of the ones I wanted. I really didn't want the throne. I, I have no interest in the Game of Thrones. And, I mean, it's awesome, but it's. Eh, not really. But that's me. You know, everybody wants their own thing. What I did pick up is uh, Jack and Vampire Teddy. So they were pretty cool. If you look at Jack, I don't I don't think he glows in the dark, but his head looks like it's made to from the coloration. I'm not sure. It doesn't say he does, so I don't think he does. It's just the coloration looks like he does. So, but he's in pretty great shape. He's pretty cool. Little body, bigger head, 
So he's awesome. And then you get Vampire Teddy, which is cool. This cape just kind of flattens out right here so you can set him down, even though he's got little itty bitty legs. He's still pretty cool. So that one's off. Awesome. And then I got the. I'm going to say this wrong again. Cthulhu. Oops, I should show the box. The box. Just so you can see a box. This Cthulhu, which is, uh, what was he? Patina, I think they called it. But he is awesome. He's heavy. He's solid. But he looks like he'd be a, like a, a statue if you went into a Greek area. Like you were traveling through the mountains in Greece or something. And they had all the old statues from back when they worshipped everything. And this is one that was made out of bronze or copper. You get the green from the, the weathering on there. So that is really awesome. That looks really cool. If you haven't seen them, detail's really cool. The coloration is awesome. He looks like a statue that you would find out there made out of copper or bronze or something. And then it just starts to get weathered and turn green. So that is freaking awesome though. So... <coughs> So my, uh, my promise to myself didn't last long. So, <laughs> but when are you gonna show that job one out there? And who knows if Walmart will ever get again because that's the way they are, and they just they just really take me off. But uh, actually going to um, uh, Hot Topic. Sorry, my brain just stopped for a minute. Went to Hot Topic, and I didn't know, but they were having a sale, so I actually got. Uh, three dollars off each one of these and they're like 15 bucks not three dollars off so I get them for 12 off the two uh newer comic con ones so that was pretty cool i always like it when you go into the store and you don't know that they're having a sale but then you get in on the sale that's cool <laughs> so that's what we got today so let me know in the comments what you thought which one was your favorite what do you think Joggle one's cool of course we gotta do some work on this thing because he gets smashed like always you just, you just can't get people to care the crap about stuff sometimes i don't know why but he's still awesome just needs a little paint job um let me know what you thought what you thought was cool stuff um like don't like and subscribe as always because you never know what we're gonna do you never know when i'll break down and buy some more stuff and i shouldn't so until next time thanks